A third of women in the United States will suffer from pelvic organ prolapse at some point in their lives. This condition occurs when the integrity of the muscular tissue supporting the organs is compromised in some way due to age, strenuous exercise, or chronic conditions such as asthma and COPD. It causes the organs to shift from their original position, and patients re report suffering from pain, discomfort, urinary incontinence, interference with their sex life, and even the extension of the organs down and through the vaginal opening. Luckily, there are two solutions to this problem. Surgery and silicon devices called pessaries. Most women opt for pessaries first because it is a non-surgical intervention. And within two months of a proper fitting of a pessary, 92% of women are satisfied with the results. But the necessary maintenance of going to the OBGYN every four to six weeks for removal, cleaning, and reinsertion of the device is cumbersome. And self-care is next to impossible when the most widely used and effective pessary on the market, the Gellhorn, is also the most difficult to manipulate. After two years, many women then opt for surgery a risky $15,000 procedure that often requires a second in order to repair complications from the first and isn't covered by insurance. But what choice do these women have in order to regain their sense of normalcy? My name is Caroline Culp, and I am here today representing the Hybrid 2 Pessary and Applicator System. Our pessary and applicator fit together like a lock and key in order to allow the woman to independently, correctly, and comfortably manipulate our pessary into its proper position. Our design does not interfere with the current design of the base of the Gellhorn pessary, making our design strong and reliable. Most importantly, our device is only $110, and with one doctor visit for a fitting, either reduced in costs or completely covered by insurance, this amounts to less than 1% of the cost of one surgery. There are currently no other Gellhorn applicators on the market, and the only other options are surgery and OBGYN maintenance. Therefore, our competition lies in what women feel is the best way to maintain their pelvic organ prolapse. Our competitive advantage lies with our sponsor, Cooper Surgical, a leader in women's health care, and their OBGYN consultant to help us validate and patent our design, as well as bring it to market. But we are still asking for help from those with OBGYN experience to help promote our product to women who would otherwise choose surgery. With a market potential of $1.5 billion in the United States alone, we have the potential to not only reduce costs to insurance companies, but more importantly, reduce the cost to these patients, and most importantly, empower these women by giving them back their independence in managing their prolapse. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions. Questions, yes. Thank you, you did a very good job with your Thank presentation. You. <laughs> Can you tell me, have you developed a prototype yet and how has testing been? Yes, so we have developed a fully uh, prototype. We haven't obviously been able to test on uh, volunteers because we're not allowed to. <laughs> but we have done mechanical testing. So we've gone through compression testing as well as torsional testing and we will continue to test our device until we are completely satisfied that it will not fail. Then we will move towards FDA trials. So our um, applicator was 3D printed as well as our pessary. And I, I would love to show it to you. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me. And I'm not allowed to. So. <laughs> so what specifically do you want from us now? I am using this competition to raise awareness for this condition as well as promote the existence of this product in the first place. And by promoting this product, we'll empower these women to get their independence back. It's not just older women, it's younger women too who are affected by this disease. Women who are still making changes and we want them to be able to live their life normally as much as possible. To understand a little bit more about the technical aspect of it, is this something that's used with the Gellhorn? Is this something used in place of the Gellhorn? So it's used with the Gellhorn. So the Gellhorn design is still there. It's just a modified version of it. So you don't need to prove that the Gellhorn works. We know that. You only need the to Gellhorn. prove that your device mm -hmm. can extract and reinsert in a, in mm -hmm. a uh, clean and easy way. Yes, so as long as our specifications, it meets all the mechanical requirements of the Gellhorn pessary, then we know it will work. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.